Right now, just woke up, and yes, we got a second massage yesterday because it's only 20 bucks for 90 minutes, or 30 bucks, 30 bucks for 90 minutes. No tip required because they don't usually tip in China like they do in America. So now, Dave and I were uh, on the search for some street breakfast food, but the weather's really nice. It's been hot the majority of the time, but the morning's got this nice chill to it and try to explore some of the local culture. So we've been walking around for about 10 minutes and it's been hard to find some street food, which is pretty normal for most parts of Asia to have a lot of street cars, street vendors to find some great food, but there's only restaurants, no, no street stalls. So we're still looking. <laughs> Finally found something. We'll see if this is as close as it's gonna get. Joseon, do you have a bag? 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 We're still searching for other stands to see what the competition looks like before we make a choice. Oh, another chung fun stand. Looks like they have one with egg. Dosan. 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 So they have egg and then they have pork too. Oh, well, this one they have the bean sprouts. Bean sprouts. Bean sprouts. Oh, you get that sweet soy sauce in there. Ooh, oh, shit. oh, dude, there's a whole other market down there. <laughs> so looks like they have noodles. Oh, yeah, my fun. Oh, so rice noodle. So this one's got more options. Another chum fun stand. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh. Mantel. Oh. Okay. 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 So, uh, oh, okay. So the shrimp dumpling, this is like they do their own style. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have jerk too. Look at that. Look at that one towel. Man, I'm super excited. Finally sat down to check out meal number one after checking out eight to nine other stalls. This is what we got, we got siu mai, but according to them, this is like a shrimp dumpling part. They do it a little differently here. Corn and I don't know what else is inside. This is a, a minced beef and then we got our chicken feet. And we're not going to drink the tea here because it's a street stall. <laughs> oh yeah, we have got to get the chop. All right, round one just done. We're gonna go search for round two. product man look how fresh this is we are on our way to round three we're gonna get some rice noodles to finish off our breakfast <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
This is officially round three. You got rice noodle with one tons. Looks like bok choy and a chicken broth. Can I make a complete bite? You make Anthony Bourdain proud. <laughs> Saying here. This is the sweets. Yeah, we only got if I'm gonna get to one where it's nice to see how I found another market here. This is crazy. This one's still alive. Yeah. Fresh. This is what we call fresh fish. You want your meat here. This is crazy. You got fresh fish and fresh fish paste. That looks so good. This is where just all meat shops. Got some Chinese chess. Gotta get that morning cigarette. Yeah, everyone's got their own veggies here. It's super fresh though. Look at the color on the vegetables. Oh, more stuff. This is a butcher shop? Oh, okay. We just finished a couple hours of exploring and eating. Gonna finish off on a nice little fruit drink and then head back to the hotel. The interesting is this is what a lot of it used to look like this architecture structure is probably from early 1900s if you look at and then just kind of retrofitted but I think they're starting to tear this stuff down better watch out for this guy this guy's watering the plants he doesn't care about who which pedestrians are walking by we got to go before we get sprayed let's see if we get sprayed he just sprayed a pedestrian oh shoot oh I still got two hours to kill before our exhibition game today, so we're walking around to see if we can find some snacks. We found a, a store here called Whole Fresh, not to be confused with Whole Foods. These are what the Chinese snacks look like. Now that we scoped the scene, we're gonna start buying and loading up some snacks for the room. Instant noodles, heck yeah. This is what I'm talking about. You get your chicken foot snack. This is literally just a packaged chicken foot. Hell yeah. It's only for the hardcore. I cannot wait to try these snacks. I'm actually going to try this drink first. Got kumquat lemon. I think it's straight up juice because it feels kind of heavy. And then I'm going to try out this instant noodle tom yum, which is like a a sour flavor, Thai flavor, instant noodle. As this is cooking, I'm gonna sample the other stuff. It's pretty cool. Comes with a little foldable fork inside. All the little seasonings here. First sip of the kumquat lemon drink. So it's definitely not a natural juice like an artificial flavor. I'm a little disappointed. It doesn't taste bad at all, but if the packaging is gonna be this nice, I thought it was gonna be like a mind-blowing natural flavor, but. Next up on the list is Lay's with Italian red meat flavor. That's what it looks like here. Mm, it's pretty yummy. This one's good. It's definitely a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. It is like a bolognese sauce. A little tomato, a little beef, so it captures the flavor pretty well. We got Lay's sizzled barbecue flavor. My guess is going to be similar to the meat sauce. 
but they do have bell peppers on there, so I'm curious if that's gonna add into the flavor. This is really interesting. I opened the Pringles packaging. Well, this is Lay's, but it looks like Pringles. And they have a tray of chips. It's very fascinating. And even the texture of the potato chip is different than what we have in the US. It's almost like more real of a potato than what we have. So these are the sizzling barbecue chips. There actually is a little bit of bell, hint of bell pepper. Very subtle barbecue flavor. Not very strong at all. More of a, a pepper growth flavor. Doesn't taste bad at all, but I like the meat red flavor better. This Chinese tea with honey. We can find this in the States, but I had to drink it just because it's so good. So if you ever see this in the store, I highly recommend getting it. Just as good as the States. <laughs> They're a chrysanthemum honey drink. Also, you can get this in the in this US, but I just love this drink so much that I had to get it. This brand's different, it has a much stronger chrysanthemum flavor, which is what I like about it as well. And now the Tom Yum noodles are just ready. Sorry, it's a little shaky because I gotta put it on my thigh to get the shot for you guys. Not bad. It's actually not as salty as I thought it was gonna be. It's kind of a light flavor, a little sour from the Tom Yum. Decently tasty. I would like the flavor to be a little stronger, but not bad. Now we're gonna try some of the soup. Not as sour as the usual Tom Yum. So I'll say this is average, nothing really that special. I thought it was gonna taste better. Next up is the lychee, I think that's lychee flavored Oreo. This should be really interesting. Also, like each snack comes with two Oreos. Very light flavor. It literally tastes like lychee flavor inside of Oreo. I don't know, still, still figuring if those flavors mix well together or not, but it doesn't taste bad. Still gotta decide if I like it or not. 